in business, I know coming up through my career, I was definitely taught you keep a distance from your staff. You definitely keep a distance from creating an environment that could make it feel like family because family is outside of work. It is not inside of work. We are not here to be family. We're barely here to be friends. It is all about, you just don't know when you're going to have to lay people off, right? So you don't get close to them. Well, it's impossible to create a leadership of love-based system when people are looked at as assets and not as individuals. And it was very challenging as an individual who was a heart-centered leader to operate in an environment like that. So what you ended up with was, and if someone like myself was within that system, was someone who felt torn apart because you were able to see that a business would flourish more if people did feel connected to one another, if they felt connected to their leader and they had created a system of trust and that their leader understood that there was no way to separate a personal life from an organizational life. Like I don't walk through a door and suddenly the fact that my child is sick goes out of my head and I'm able to give you 100% of my focus. No matter how much you demand that out of me, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And so we can pretend that it's happening and live in an illusion, or you can understand that I'm concerned. My child is at home sick and someone else is taking care of them that I don't know that I fully trust. So I'm only half paying attention today. And as a leader who is based in caring about my staff member, I then can make a choice. I can say, I understand and I appreciate you being here and acknowledge that if I truly need them here. And then they feel seen, heard, and understood, which is all most of us want, right? That simple acknowledgement of, I understand what you must be going through. I see you, I hear you, and I understand. That in itself creates that sense of connection to the leader and that sense of connection to purpose, especially if you then say, I really appreciate that you understand our mission right now really needs, even if it's only half of your focus, the half of your focus that you're giving us. But if you need to go home, depending on the circumstance, then I would understand that too. You're humanizing the individual instead of optimizing the slight little bit of performance that you might get. But over time, you're going to optimize performance a lot more by giving the person the human touch because they're going to come back once their child is well. And they're going to be so grateful for you seeing them as a person that they're going to work five times harder to show you that they appreciate being seen. Mm. 